Healthy Living is brought to you by the Rutland Regional Medical Center. We followed a group of women in their quest to better their overall well-being through proper nutrition, exercise, and positivity. To get to where they're at today, it's taken some soul searching, self-discovery, and the power from within to overcome obstacles. The six week game changer challenge was created to do just that. Offer people the tools they need to re-examine what's holding them back, focus on their personal strengths, and find the areas they can do a little more work. While much of the physical work is done in the gym with core training, spinning, and circuits, the nutrition piece and self-reflection is done at home. Today, their coach through the entire experience, Amy Lewis, is here to update us on where the group is today. It's really been amazing to watch the transformation of these women through the program. Um, we're now in week five, so we've really got just this week and next week to go. And what's happened in addition to the weight loss and fat loss and inches lost is really a big change in the mindset, which is a big part of our programs here at Fusion Fitness. We're reading a book about habits, and through that, folks are really taking a look at their habits and what triggers their habits, what do they get out of the things that they're doing, and they've really begun to make some major changes. One of the gals is a teacher, and she used to get overwhelmed and frustrated, head into the teacher's room, and I was a teacher, and notoriously those teacher's rooms are packed with sweets. Parents bring them in, teachers bring them in, as a, as a kind gesture, but sometimes we get caught in there, and that can be a big deterrent for our weight loss goals. This gal has taken it upon herself on Monday mornings to prep her food for the week, and she now brings a cooler with her to work. So instead of going into the teacher's room, she spends her prep time prepping for her lessons and snacking out of the cooler so she can always have that with her. So even on a stressful week when maybe she couldn't get her workouts in, she was able to stay really on track with her foods and not just, not. that's one example. Um, the other gals also are talking about the choices they're making, when they are choosing to have cocktails, when they're choosing not to, when they're choosing to go out to eat and the choices they're making when they are out. Lots of folks around here eat out quite a bit. So it's really awesome to see the habits changing surrounding food choices and then their commitment to their workouts as well. We'll be back next week with results on how the women did and their plans going forward.